speaker today, the very talented Akintunde Sogunro. A fraternity of greatness. That is the legacy that Dr. Hoke and this outstanding program leave behind. The most fundamental aspect of what the Developing Tomorrow's Professionals program instills in young men of color are principles. Principles, the bedrock truths that only show their true colors in the heat of battle. When life Circumstances, drugs, broken homes, single father, single mother, no father, whatever it may be. When the battles of life rage, when the fires rage, there's a standard being waved. It's our principles that become our standards, like in warfare. When that standard, that flag is raised, we are rem we're reminded of what we're fighting for. I'm fighting for these young men in this room to become, to become something, to become what they were destined to be. We're all in this room because we're fighting together so these young men become who they're destined to be. The strength of our standards determines the scope of what we can become. It is not uh, true, so true that so many of our youth never get to become because life took a victory over their destiny. Think about it. Somebody you know, talented, so intelligent, didn't quite make it to their full potential. There are several young men who have come from the DTP program that have become something. I had the privilege my first summer as an academic mentor uh, of this illustrious program to work with a young man by the name of uh, John Jenkins. He's a big boy. I was 6'2", 6'3", 290, almost 300 pounds, uh, with a big smile. The biggest smile you see on a defensive tackle is a big boy. And um, he had another friend, actually from my city, from New Britain, uh, called Scooby. Once again, I was 6'2", almost 300 pounds. We're talking 15, 16 year old young man. Both young men had the potential to become something great in their football and educational careers. Both came from unstable homes. No fathers. Sometimes no place to stay. John Jenkins took these principles. He took up his standard and he strode forward into battle. He graduated high school. I'll never forget when I see the phone call the summer after I mentored him and uh, he called me and said, hey, I don't let you know, man. So I thank you, Dr. Ho, man. Uh, I'm at the airport. Like, what you mean at the airport? He was flying down south to go to a junior college. I had to just barely pass in high school playing a couple of football games. He was able to get into a junior college to play football. I never forget, I began to cry immediately because he was beginning to become. Because <sighs> he was hungry. I know what it's like to truly be hungry, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you might know that today. What it means to have your back against the wall, nothing left, and you're hungry, you want something. John Jenkins had that hunger. See, John had the hunger, so did Scooby. So many of you in this room. See, what happened to Scooby, the Scooby, unfortunately, went into the ring of life ill-equipped. He went into the gladiator ring arena so the all forms of temptations and challenges, right? No family, no support, the drugs, the temptations of high school. And he was without principles, without standards. And unfortunately, Scooby isn't where he needs to be today. It was John's principles that propelled him to greatness. When he had to run one more lap, when he had to study a little bit harder, work a little bit more, push a little bit more. He stayed in the fight, and he persevered to become something. Both him and another young man by the name of Jermaine. And if I may, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you would uh, permit me to share. Uh, so often we hear from the young men who are in the program, 
mentors who are in the program, but it's not so rare that we get to hear from uh, the other side. What does success look like when a young man graduates from the DG program, college, the world? What does it look like? And if I may, I have uh, two brief letters here. This is Jermaine Brookshire, Jr. When I started college, all I knew was that I wanted to make a positive impact and nothing short of my best work would be acceptable in order to accomplish this goal. This mindset of always aiming towards excellence was imbued within me by the professionals of DTP. This past May, I graduated from the College of St. Rose with a dual degree in philosophy and political science. At 22 years old, I founded my very own non-for-profit organization titled Great Expectations Movement, GEM. This is for you, Dr. Hall. I'm listening. Which is a personal development and motivational organization. In just one year of us being in existence, we spearheaded on over five original events, conducted over 15 motivational presentations, and are currently in the midst of working with partners of Northwestern Mutual Financial Group and Macy's corporate office to raise $20,000 to sponsor four students in need who are seeking to continue their education. None of this would have been possible without the leadership of the incomparable Dr. Ho and my DTP mentors to first allow me to see the greatness that I harbored within myself by giving me the confidence I needed to trust in my ability to do great things. I will be forever grateful to this program for how it's impacted my life for the better. That is Jermaine Brookshire, Jr., CEO of Great Expectations Movement. I just want to enlighten those of you who are here who might not know much about the program, those of you who do, and to really just honor Dr. Hogue for once, for what he's really done. Finally, uh, this is a young man, John Jenkins, to complete his story. He says, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is my deepest regrets I'm unable to attend this monumental occasion. An occasion like this comes by once in a lifetime. As Dr. Hogue always says, seize the moment. This has become a very important phrase in my daily life and words I will always live by. There are two parts of my high school career, the one before Dr. Hogue and the one after. My career before Dr. Hogue was filled with self-doubt, low self-esteem, weak study habits, and an unknown future with no vision. It pretty much sounds like a typical high school student. And I was just that until Dr. Hogue and the DTP. Dr. Hogan, the DTP, gave me dreams and aspirations in life. He gave me confidence in my abilities as well as an insight into my inner self-esteem. He taught me about what I could be, not what I was settling for in life. I never dreamed of college or finishing high school, but along came Dr. Hogan, the DTP, and the dream of college was not only a reachable goal, but it became a reality. I owe so much to a man who gave so much and was recognized so little. Dr. Hogue is one of few men that has made a strong and significant impact in my life and I cherish everything he taught me. He says, I may not have said it enough, but know for sure on a day where recognition is long overdue, I admire, respect, and thank you, Dr. Hogue. As for the next group going through this program, pay close attention because your time to shine is next. Love you, and congratulations for being honored as a great man, Dr. Stephen Hulk. He says, you know this is really short, but uh, he says, you've got to tell him how hard it was to be a professional. Sincerely yours from one of your best students, Mr. John J. Jenkins of the New Orleans Saints NFL football team. So we'll take a, a brief moment, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Hogue honors the mentors, he honors teachers and principals every year. We never honor him. Because in this fraternity of greatness, you heard it from the members of this, for, it's really almost like a fraternity because we stay in touch. Uh, we all honor the founding member, the man who started it all. Dr. Stephen Hope, we mentors present to you a little plaque, a little something for you, sir. Uh, Mr. Brown, can read that real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, Developing Tomorrow's Professionals presents to Dr. Stephen W. Hogue, 
the man who started a legacy. We, the men of the DTP, honor you. Thank you, sir. My name is Daryl Brown. Um, I am a former mentor of DTP and also a former mentee in DTP. I'm going to bring you back a, a little bit. I was a mentee in DTP seven years ago. The first class, the second class of DTP. Dr. Ho, you look just as flashy as you did before. <laughs> Dr. Ho asked me to be a mentor one May or something like that. And, and I said, why would he ask me? And it flashed in my mind. He wants somebody who shares his perception of how close we are to the ground. <laughs> They told me not to speak long, so I'm just going to say something really fast here. Jesse, I commend you on your work you've done with the Troop Magnet Academy boys. I was the first mentor for the Magnet Academy, the middle school program of the boys, and I know how it is to work with young, young men. Young, young men. It's not easy. But the challenge is so rewarding. I commend you. Amen. 